Hello guys, Mr. Dolphin here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Puckle Tower in Atlas. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's just jump right into it. So there's two types of Puckle Towers we're going to be building here. Uh, we're going to be building the very cheap, easy to make tower uh, with low amount of resources. And there's the more expensive, more time consuming kind of uh, Puckle Tower. So for this, you don't necessarily need to make the whole thing out of stone, but if you want to use the stone, you're welcome to use the stone. You do need wood for the actual railing or slash fencing. Uh, also, I'm building this in a non-flat area because nothing is really flat in Atlas. So I might have to make some adjustments here and there based on the terrain that I'm working with. All right, so we have to make the first layer out of uh, swivels because uh, if you only put puckles here on the ground level, someone can just run up to the ramp here and or a wild animal will run up to here and the puckles will actually not shoot. So preferably, if you're gonna use a swivel, use a swivel for the first layer. Also keep in mind, uh, based on the type of terrain, if there's a lot of cover at the spawn here, you might have to uh, add some foundation spam to prevent cobras from simply destroying everything around you.
So as you can see, if you add some stone fence in, pretty much discover I cannot attack my my railing. So you can add that on top of your your uh, puckle tower because you need you need that puckle tower to be out of wood. Uh, you can make this a little further away, but you have to also keep in mind that uh, you don't want to put them too close together because then you will carry too much land on side for the puckles to actually chew it. Now, that is pretty much the basic puckle tower. You can, if you want to add another layer of fencing, you can also add another layer of fencing. For example, I just get rid of this. And if you want another layer of fencing on top of your puckle tower, we can do that too. And as you can see, the puckle actually shoots, shoots through the railing, so that prevents the puckle tower from from just getting destroyed very easily, right? So you can add that on top of your, and it's very inexpensive. It's just wood. As you, same thing with the with the with the swivel guns. The swivel guns will also, will also shoot through the railing. But if you don't put any kind of fencing, uh, wild animals or like tames will be able to actually attack it. So I definitely recommend putting some stone fence support to prevent things from just walking into the railings. That would be the most effective way. Now, how does this fare against grenades? Alright, so now the question is how does this compare against a uh, normal puckle tower? Uh, so, usually grenades don't really go through the railings. Uh, you have to be you have to be extremely close for the grenade to actually go through the railing. So keep that in mind when you make your puckle tower. So if someone is attacking your puckle tower that's covered by, by railings, they have to get really close. And if they get really close, they get they will be killed by the swivel. So usually, if I throw a grenade in there, it will just bounce off into damage to maybe the outer layer. So that prevents people from just simply destroying your puckle tower that easily. Now, what would take damage would be some of your railings, but your swivels and your puckles would just be would be fine. Once again, I do recommend you do maybe do a double layer with this build, and that will be fine. You don't need to go crazy a uh, triple layer. I think the double layer is just fine. But if you don't want to do a level layer, a one layer would be okay. Although if you do, if you just keep it as one layer, the gun ports and swivels will take some of the splash damage but they won't be destroyed instantly. And once again, if you're worried about wild animals, just add the fence supports uh, around it, and that will prevent animals from just walking into it. 